showcasing business coast to coast. It's the John Robert Quinn Show. Welcome back to the most amazing, most incredible show, the John Robert Quinn Show. Segment three is brought to you by Linda Grover, 530-388-8393, lindagrover.org. Are you looking to buy or sell your next home? lindagrover.org, again, 530-388-8393. So we're hanging out here with Andrea from Royal Oil. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I have no idea how we found you. Do you remember if you were a referral from somebody or not? Somebody referred me. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, I I don't remember. I don't have a computer in front of me to to find out, but uh, we've had essential oils on before, and they've done fairly well, and uh, I really like your approach because... You're local. Yes. People can actually get a hold of you. Yes. You have a website. Yes. Those are the big three things. You'd be surprised how many people come on the program and they don't want them to call their phone number and they don't have a, a website and they're just like, send me an email. Okay. Mm. So I love the fact that we have a product. <laughs> I love it. All right. So talk to me. What is Royal Oil? Royal Oil is an all natural moisturizer for the hair, skin and nails. It's an olive oil base I get straight off the orchard, which is locally grown. It's uh, out of Lincoln. They also have 250 acres in Corning and 1,000 acres in Spain. I will never run out of oil. That is awesome. Yes. That is awesome. So you go to Lincoln first. I do. And then Corning is kind of your contingent? Well, they just bring it to me, whatever I want. Mm -hmm. If I need a lot, which I usually, I get it in five-gallon drums. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I, I make a lot of oil. That is awesome. So, and olive oil is the has the smallest molecule, so mm-hmm. it goes completely into the skin and the hair shaft. So, it so does those not are like all those residue. all those road signs that you see for the olive oil and stuff. You're getting it exactly. from them. That's yes. brilliant. I love it. Yes, absolutely love it. All right, uh, and now tell us a little bit about what these oils are. I mean, what what purpose do they serve? It's a moisturizer. Okay. Um, I've also had people tell me that it helps them with their eczema, psoriasis. I watched it how it works with bruising, and it's an anti-inflammatory. It's also good to uh, take off makeup with, put it on underneath makeup. It's just an all-over body moisturizer for fine hair. It adds body. Um, I use it as a leave-in conditioner. Helps with cuticles. Uh, does everything. Olive oil is magic. It's the best thing on the planet that they, you know, it's from the beginning of time. If you look at the people from the Mediterranean, mm-hmm. you can never tell how old they are because they eat it and wear it. There's something, or here, I'm going to throw a big twist in this whole thing okay. that nobody was aware of. So one of our newest clients, he's got a show we just launched called Get Detoxinated. Mm-hmm. And he, basically what it is, is he, 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 um, Gives you vitamin B3, which is niacin. He puts you into a sauna. And um, I'm not going to get into all the details, but essentially you start sweating out the toxins in your body. Okay? All the way down into the, uh, what do you call it? Li- 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 I don't know. Anyway, he, he, he's the science nerd. He, he, he knows it. Point I'm making. We have toxins all over our bodies from the chemicals that we're putting on our faces, the chemicals we're putting on our hands, the chemicals from the makeup, the chemicals from the lotions, the smog from driving, the foods that we're putting into our bodies, the clothes that we're wearing from the dry cleaner, all these things, Mm -hmm. chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. You're using a natural product to eliminate a lot of that. Yes. It's brilliant. I love it. I grew up in the beauty industry. It's the only thing I ever heard of was using olive oil. Nobody's done it. And when they do, they add something to it. And once you add another carrier oil to it, it changes the molecular structure and it doesn't work anymore. Okay. I want to get you in contact with Dan Root, okay? Okay. Uh, Because uh, I think there might be something something, uh, great there. All right. Um, Now, why are you so passionate? I, I mean, I know you're passionate, but why are you so passionate about this business? Well, I grew up in the beauty industry. Um, my dad used to work for a company uh, in San Francisco that made the co- uh, product called the Fusion 23. It was a leave-in hair conditioner. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, Duart mm-hmm. made it. Mm-hmm. And so I grew up in that industry. We moved to Sacramento. He worked for Bar- Sacramento Barber and Beauty. Um, I just have always been around very, very good products. I'm a licensed manicurist and educator, went to school because I wanted to help people. I did nails. I didn't do hair. It was a nightmare if I was going to do that. I always had nightmares about cutting hair. Um, <laughs> I just, That's I love to, yeah, no, you know, your hair starts long and then all of a sudden you've got different lengths. And well, just that. That. It's just the nasty people. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but I've always loved it. I've always been in sales and um, I've always loved really good products. 
So, and something that works. And like I said, olive oil was always something we talked about. And it was the only thing that I, I I saw what people were making and it kind of uh, made me think I needed to make something myself because that I knew was top quality. And uh, you gave me something, and I don't know where I put it. Um, you have a list of events coming up. I do. I am at, um, there's a, a list I can get for you, too. It's right here. It's on, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Um, it's, I'm up in Tahoe right now. Okay. In the, uh, and we're, every weekend we're up in Tahoe, and I have August, I mean, July 13th through the 15th, I'm in Zephyr Cove at Round Hill. Same with the 20th through the 22nd, Round Hill. And then uh, the 26th through the 29th, I'm at the uh, Lake Tahoe Middle School. And same with August 2nd through the 5th at the Middle School. And then uh, the 10th through the 12th of August, I'm at Round Hill again in Zephyr Cove. Okay, can you email me those lists of dates sure. so we can push and that then, on social media? And then we start the big one. The Apple Hill? The Apple Hill. I am at High Hill Ranch. Okay. And if anybody... When is here, that? August this 10th? starts August 18th, and okay. I'm there all the way through till... Um, Till Thanksgiving weekend, that Sunday. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll bring the wife uh, yeah, up. Yeah, we're open seven days a week. Absolutely. And I do have a promotion that's going on, too. If you come up and see me in Tahoe, mm -hmm. I have little cards. We only have about a 1,000 of them, and they're for caramel apple shakes. If you come up on the 18th or the 19th. Oh, man. so it's she a free. only has a thousand dollars. I oh, and not even that many because I already gave away That's, oh, about a hundred of them. This how weekend. much inventory that you move? That is brilliant. <laughs> I only have a thousand of them. I wish I only had a thousand spots to sell. <laughs> Jesus! But High Hill That's Ranch, awesome. we we are we are so excited. It's our pre um, Labor Day. You know, it's our pre show. Love so, because everybody else opens on Labor Day, and we open the 18th. So we've got about 70 crafters, and uh, of course, if you've gone up and had uh, the fritters and everything, mm -hmm. I mean, but boy, you've got if you look at the it's pie all about house, the cam caramel yeah, apple for me. That's man. it. And if you look at the pie house and turn your head to your left, you will see me. I'm the first booth. I have 20 feet. So, and we're open seven days a week. So you come down anytime. I'll bring the wifey up. She has been asking me. I can't even say asking. She has been begging me for four years to take her to Apple Hill. And I don't like Apple Hill. Oh, you'll love our ranch. It's beautiful. You take her to the pond. Have a, where's know, the pond? It's right. Um, It's in the center it, it of the ducks. ranch. It has ducks. It has fish. Sold. It has fish. It, People you, send you me pictures have... of ducks. Yeah. <laughs> they said they text me pictures of ducks. I don't get pictures of cars and guitars anymore. I get pictures of ducks <laughs> and Eiffel Towers. <laughs> well, yeah. Come on. And they even have pony rides, and there are wineries there, too. So right there Something on the everyone. property. Can you send me where this is? Because apparently I'm going to the wrong place. Yeah, it's right off. Uh, I'm going to the big place that has the, the Carson the, exit. That has the, the big cafeteria with the pizza. That's oh, no. place. Like, that's, no. And I'm like, this is, no. I, don't, I don't get it. What is no. this? No. You're, you're, I'm going wrong, to the wrong place. Wrong place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the yeah, people with the pizza. But, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, it's a lot of fun. We're going to, we're going to have a blast. So when you started this business, uh, mm -hmm. kind of what was, what, what happened? I mean, you didn't just wake well, up one morning and go, all right, I'm going to start my business. No, I, I really uh, I used to be a sales rep and a manufacturer's rep for a nail company, and I knew what was good for nails mm -hmm. and for skin, for the moisture, everything, and I got tired of seeing what people were doing. It wasn't top quality, mm -hmm. even though they think it is, mm -hmm. and I grew up in the industry, so I had to make my own stuff, and it's been going like wildfire. It just sells like crazy. And I brought some products with me to demo. I have um, my wonderful oil. It's a moisturizer for the hair, skin, and nails. My top seller right now is my mint eucalyptus. You're going to mm -hmm. love this because it keeps away mosquitoes and it stops the mosquito bite. If you have one, it stops the itch immediately. No kidding. And my lavender is really, really good for um, uh, sunburn mm -hmm. and inflammation. I had somebody have a bee sting, put it on there, brought the bee sting down. Made all the redness so go we away. Are, we're not putting chemicals on our bodies. No. We're putting 
what came right out of the yeah. ground on our body. And look, it's a natural remedy. It's just right. like the Native Americans and so forth. <sighs> I don't understand mm-hmm. why we need so many chemicals. I don't get it. Me either. It just and doesn't make sense to me. No. And it does help with inflammation. Um, I ended up breaking my ankle and I put it on there for pain. It makes a big difference. My sage also works for pain. I have a friend who uses it for her um, sciatica, her shoulder. Mm-hmm. Um, my, I also have a scrub that you don't wash off. You uh, put it on. It has the same oil in it. I don't add anything else to it. Actually, I take the scrub, put the, it's Himalayan sea salt, Mm -hmm. pour the oil into it so it's the exact same oil. You put it on, you don't wash it off. The thing I don't understand is why people buy a product they have to wash down the drain. And then you got to scrub out the tub. It makes no sense to me. So yeah, I'm, she's I'm, over here going. <laughs> right that's a good here. point. And <laughs> if you want, <laughs> here you can try. Here I'm going to have you try the oil first. Let's do that's this. Um, I want to go to a break. Okay. And then when I come back from break, I want to really dig into this. Okay. Okay. okay? Let's sure. do that. Uh, of course. If you want to know more, folks, Royal Oil by Andrea dot com. Royal Oil by Andrea dot com. Nine one six seven six five four four seven three. Nine one six seven six five four four seven three. We'll be right back.